We'll return you to education in a pandemic on Fox Carolina, the school station. Sponsored by Wilderness at the Smokies. In an exclusive interview, I sat down with Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman inside her office in Columbia. She explained why it's important for teachers to get vaccinated, why kids need to be back in the classroom five days a week, and her own personal family experience with COVID-19. March 15th, 2020, South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster ordered all 1,250 public schools to close. Then, on April 22nd, We've decided not to reopen the schools for the rest of the school year. Fast forward to 2021, the roadmap to getting teachers and all students back into the classroom five days a week continues to be redrawn as we learn more about the COVID-19 virus and the developments of new vaccines. And my faith teaches me that perseverance builds your character. And so I, I really do believe that we're going to be stronger people because of this COVID-19 pandemic. South Carolina Superintendent of Education, Molly Spearman. We have certainly done the best we can with the knowledge that we had a year ago. The CDC identified five mitigation strategies to help cut down the spread of COVID-19 as districts bring back faculty and students for in-person learning. Wear a mask, stay six feet apart, wash your hands, thoroughly clean the classrooms and buildings, plus contact tracing. We now know that those five mitigation tools, particularly wearing a mask and social distancing, they work. And if we maintain those, we can operate schools safely. Spearman also believes getting teachers vaccinated is vital in keeping our schools open. In Monday's press briefing by the White House COVID-19 response team, CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky stated CDC's operational strategy includes vaccination for teachers and school staff as an additional layer to protection that can be added to the five key layered mitigation strategies. Superintendent Spearman agrees. No, they do not have to be vaccinated in order to get back to school safely, but we can operate school better if they've been vaccinated. Spearman says if teachers are vaccinated, it will cut down on quarantining entire classrooms if a teacher is identified through contact tracing. It really disrupts the operation of our wanting to be back five days a week. In South Carolina, students are slowly returning to in-person learning. Districts have been concentrating on the younger students. I think now we have the evidence that even our high school students and middle school students can come back five days a week safely. But Spearman says virtual learning will be an option even post COVID. In this day and age, you know, you should not have to go to your classroom to get the content knowledge. You should be able to be connected. As Spearman helps lead and navigate the 70 plus school districts across the state through these unprecedented times, she's also a mom and a wife who knows firsthand the severity of COVID-19. My son, who thought he had been careful, had dinner with some friends who had been tested, and lo and behold, they came down with the virus. So I learned that even being careful, you can still get it. It's no joke. And uh, our son actually developed pneumonia. I spent a day at the emergency room sitting outside in my car, wondering how he was doing on the inside. It's, it's one of the saddest things that's happened, how families can't be together when they're under that kind of stress and uncertainty. Spearman hopes through all the uncertainty, people will see the value of our schools. They're not there just for content, but they bring tremendous social and emotional support for our children and our families. And for sure, we all need to say thank you to teachers. They've done a great job. A committee hearing was scheduled this week in the House regarding moving teachers into a phase 1A. Governor McMaster has doubled down, though, on his stance against moving teachers up in the vaccination rollout plan. We have more education stories you need to know available right now on demand anytime on the Fox Carolina app on Roku, Fire TV and Apple TV.